Hey everyone, now that we are in festive season with Diwali just around the corner, first of all, I wish you all a very happy and prosperous Diwali. Now this time again, I have got some high conviction stock picks for Diwali 2023. But before that, if you recall, I did a video last year giving 10 stock names for SIP for next 10 year. So before I give you names for Diwali 2023, I thought of doing a quick review. Now this is something very few people do, but this is very important because you also know whether my stock picks are good or bad and that actually helps in building trust. So what I've done is I have divided this Diwali 2023 video in two parts where this is the first part where I've covered the, the review of stocks that I covered last year. And then in the next part, I'll cover the stock for 2023. The interesting part is that all the 10 stocks that I discussed last year are still valid for SIP for the next year as well. So let's get started with the list. But before that, uh, just a disclaimer, this is not a buy or sell call. Uh, this is only to spread my knowledge and uh, help you all in your investment journey. Please do your own research before investing your money. That's my only request with this. All right, let's get started. All right, let's rewind and get the first stock name. So my first Diwali pick is the leader in Indian jewelry segment. It's Titan. The reason for selecting Titan has been very simple. India is a country with more than 140 crore people and we are one of the biggest consumption market in the world. Titan being a leading retailer with the trust of Tata brand is bound to grow. And it is not just into your jewelry watches, it is now also expanding into your eyewear, uh, perfume and even introduced sari segment. So I think uh, the kind of leadership management and the more Titan has got, it is one company that would continue to grow in the coming years. All right, now let's look at the performance of Titan since we covered last year. So last year when I did the video on 22nd October, Titan was trading at 2665 rupee. Fast forward today, one year on 22nd October, it was at 3266 rupee. That's a percentage change of 22.5%. Basically an investment of 1 lakh would have given 1 lakh 22,552. Now this is for one year performance, but since we are in November month, I have also considered the current market price and currently it is at 3,186 and the percentage change is 19.5% since there's a correction in last couple of weeks. So returns are slightly reduced An investment of 1 lakh would have given you 1 lakh 19,540 so far. Now let's rewind and get this second stock name. Diwali is the festival of lights and hence my next Diwali pick is also on the same line. It's Polycap. The reason for selecting Polycap has been again very straightforward. In India, one of the biggest theme would be the infrastructure where government has got a lot of focus in building the Indian infrastructure. And not only that, even the real estate activity across your domestic and commercial market is picking up big time. And Polycap being a leader in cables and wires and also expanding into your fast moving electrical goods segment bound to grow. And uh, if you look at the performance, Polycap was at 2,698 last year when we covered. One year down the line, it became 5,227. So that's 93.7% change. Your 1 lakh would have become 1 lakh 93,736 rupee. Fast forward today, since uh, there's a correction, uh, Polycap is currently trading at levels of around 4,900, giving 82.3% return. Uh, all right, let's rewind and look at the third stock name. My next pick is the leading manufacturer of smartphones TVs, LED lights, washing machine, etc. It's Dixon Technology. The reason for selecting Dixon was again straightforward. Electronics industry in India is still in nascent stage and it is bound to grow big time. And Dixon being a leading manufacturer of your mobile phone, TVs and a lot of other stuff is bound to grow. If you look at the performance, Dixon was trading at 4,275 last year and then one year down the line it became 5,520 giving 29% return. 1 lakh would have become 1 lakh 29,000. And if you look at the current price, it is at 5,122 giving 19.8% return. Now let's have a look at the fourth stock name. So my next pick is from QSR segment. It's Jubilant Food War. The reason why I selected Jubilant is because I strongly feel that the QSR industry in India has got a very bright future. In fact, I also did a video on uh, the entire QSR sector. Yes, Jubilant Food Work has been struggling because of uh, inflation and a lot of issues. So this is the reason this is one company where the share price has not done well. In fact, last time when I discussed it was at 590 uh, and one year down the line it became 527 giving a minus 10.6% return and fast forward today it is at around 500 giving minus 15% return. The reason like I said because uh, of high inflation 
companies margins got hit and uh, that resulted in fall in profitability and eventually the net profit and due to that jubilant foodworks share prices also struggled because the valuation were on higher side all right now let's have a look at the fifth stock the next stock is based on the theme which is go green it's tata power the reason for selecting tata power is because the green energy trend in india is going to explode in the next 10 20 30 years and i strongly believe that in green energy if you want to bet on any company it has to have a strong management a strong promoter pedigree and that's where there's no competition to tata power there are a lot of small companies in the list but i prefer a strong promoter pedigree mainly because green energy requires a lot of capital and that's where i trust uh, tata power uh, last year it was trading at 218 and then one year down the line became 247 a return of 13.3 percent and fast forward today it is at 240 giving return of around 10 percent let's have a look at the next stock name hence i have two picks from banking sector one is from large cap sector and another is from mid cap in large cap my preferred pick is icici bank the reason for selecting icici bank was again straightforward financial sector in india is still in nascent stage and there's a huge requirement for credit facility and the strong banks in India would even become stronger. We are already in an up cycle with one of the best asset quality and I think this trend would continue. Now if you look at the share price, ICICI Bank last year was at 907. Fast forward one year it became 932. So only 2.7% return. It's been a flattish performance. And uh, even today it is at 912. So net net there's no change in ICICI Bank in last one year. Mind you, ICICI Bank has been posting phenomenal quarterly numbers. So now valuations are looking very attractive. All right, now let's have a look at the next stock. And now my preferred pick from mid-cap banking include IDFC First Bank. See, again, the idea for selecting IDFC First was very straightforward. Like I said, financial sector, I see a lot of opportunity. And within that, these mid-cap banks, where they have got a very strong promoter pedigree, a very strong corporate governance, and the fact that company has transitioning from a wholesale bank to retail bank, I think the idea was fantastic. ID IDFC First was at 57 rupee last year. Fast forward one year, it became 89, giving more than 55% return. So 1 lakh would have become 1 lakh 55,965. Although there is a correction slightly and it is at 82 rupee now, giving 44% return. Mind you, it touched highs of 100 rupee and from there, there is around 18-20% correction. Alright, now let's have a look at the name for next stock. My next two pick are from financial sector. First is CAMS. Why CAMS? Very simple logic. Financialization as a theme in India is going to be a big theme. We are still in nascent stage where the Indian mutual fund industry is very small as compared to the developed countries. And I think that going forward as more and more people get aware about the investment opportunity in India, mutual fund industry is bound to grow. And CAMS being the leader in this uh, RTA segment with more than 60% market share is bound to grow and there are only a couple of companies that uh, are leading in this sector. So CAMS uh, is very very promising. Although this is the second company that has not done well in last one year. It was at 2,635 today and then one year it became 2,500 and in fact after the recent correction it is at 2,250 giving minus 15% return. Okay now let's have a look at the next stock name. My next stock would benefit from direct stock investment. It's CDSL. Why CDSL? Again, simple logic, financialization theme. Like I said, the DMIT industry in India is still in nascent stage. There's huge scope of growth and this is something I'm sure you all can relate to. A lot of new people are investing in stock market because of the potential. And if you invest in stock market, there are only two depositories, CDSL and NSDL. So these companies are bound to grow. If you look at the share price, last year it was at 1200. It became 1343, giving around 12% return. And fast forward today, it's actually increased to 1500, giving 25% return. Now let's have a look at the final name. My final stock pick for Diwali is a new age digital map service provider, CE Info System, also known as Map My India. Why Map My India? Again, simple logic. Future is all about digital. And if you look at the use case of Map My India, today, every single industry, if you look at it, for instance, food delivery, if you have they want to get your food delivered, obviously the person would use the GPS location, right? So digital maps are going to play a very crucial role across industry, be it your e-commerce, be it your food delivery, be it even your uh, car that you drive. So I think that Map My India has got bright growth prospect and not only that, it is also into your IoT. So I think very bright growth prospect. Last year it was at 1326. Fast forward today, it became 1980, uh, one year performances. 
49.3% return and today if you look at it, it is trading at 21.50 giving 62% return. So overall if you look at it, one year performance, 26% return and till date it is generated 23% return. Now it's very important to compare the performance with the benchmark then only we'll get to know whether we have done good or bad. So again we are comparing with two benchmarks, one is Nifty 50 and another is Nifty 500. Why Nifty 500? Because we covered stock across large, mid and small cap. So we created a, a basket of stock across top 500 companies and that's where the right parameter or right benchmark would be Nifty 500. So if you look at Nifty 50, Nifty 50 has generated 11.19% return in one year versus our return of 26% and in, if you look at till date because there is a correction so Nifty was at 17,576 last year and now it is at 19,000 so it has generated 8% return in one year. Nifty 500 on the other side has generated 12.9% return on one year and if you look at till date performance it's 10.23%. So if we quickly do the comparison our Diwali 22 return for one year generated 26.29%. Nifty 50 was, uh, if you compare it, was 11.19. Nifty 100 was 12.9. And if you look at fast forward today, your Diwali 22 returns are 23.6% so far. Nifty 50 is 8.1% and Nifty 500 is 10.23 because of recent correction. So it is all in front of you. I'm sure uh, you are all wise enough to take the decision whether the picks were good or bad. I hope this will give you a good understanding in terms of whether my stock selection was right or not and uh, build, help you build a trust. Uh, with this, uh, let me just close this video. Uh, stay tuned for the next part of this video. It will come soon.